You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Right then. I was hoping to get. Oh yeah, I did the base from first. Nice enough to the Hamlet, but a boring posting for a god. If a dragon attacks, well, then it would be a different story. Well, news three, there's a name dragon who attacks it. Maybe that's a hint for you though. Oh well. I'll get those sharp I've fried when we fried afterwards. Who will start? I'll do it. Before the ancient flame. We grieve. We grieve. We grieve. We grieve. We, grieve. we, grieve. we, weep. we, weep. we weep. For the fallen. We, we shout. shout. We shout. And for ourselves, we take, we our, take our leave. We take our leave. His spirit is departed. Members of the circle, let us withdraw to the Underforge. Oh! Our last together. Do you have the fragments of Ruthrad still? I'll need to prepare them for mounting again. Here you go. Careful with those. Don't want even more fragments, do we? Of course, I have a small favor to ask of you. Yep. There's another piece that Kadlak always kept close to himself. Would you go to his chambers and bring it back for me? I'm not sure I'm the best one to go through his things. It'd be my pleasure. Thank you. I'll be here. I was talking too fast not again, wasn't now. I? Let me still. Alone. If you want to cook yourself, go ahead, pal. Right. Alright, since I turned on the graphics, it seems to be loading easier now. Oh well. What would have him put up just. Oh, stealing. Yeah, what? Oh, a cord like was doing stairs, wasn't he? Oops. Wrong room. I always got the wrong room, but that's what happens when you get no quest markers. And my frames per second outside it seems to enhance as well. View distance is the same, it's just I put the graphics down. Hey, right, this one. No, 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 don't want to play. Fragment of Wifrad. Some gold and his journal. Let's read this journal. In my dream, I see the line of Harbingers start with Isgamor. Each of them ascends Sylvangard until we come for come to Terfig, who first turned us to the ways of the beast. He tries to enter Sylvangard, but before he can even approach the sun, he is set upon by a great wolf who pulls him into the hunting grounds, where her son last with welcoming arms. Terfig seems regretful, but also eager to enjoy her sign after a lifetime of service as a beast. Then I see every next harbinger turn away from Sovngarde and enter the hunting grounds of their own accord. Until it comes to me, I say, see great sun on the misty horizon beckoning me. It appears I have a choice, and then at my side, a stranger I had not seen before. As I look into his eyes, we turn to see the same wolf who dragged away Terfig. And he and I draw weapons together. I realise this is only a dream, but a strong enough dream to inspire a man like me to take to writing, so it must be of some import. I have spoken of my thoughts to the circle, withholding the part about the stranger, lest Skior worry I will no longer seek his counsel. And I was not surprised to see them torn by it, Skior and Ella are strong in the ways of the beast and even seem to suggest that the hunting grounds would be their choice of afterlife. 
It was truly a choice. If it were truly a choice, Vilkis seemed most troubled. The boy is as fierce as a saber cat in battle, but his heart's fire burns too brightly at times. He felt deceived, and I don't blame him. Farkas didn't know what to think, but I believe he will come around with me, as his brother eventually, and his brother eventually. He usually does. I don't know what to do about Sior and Ella. I know they respect the companions and me, but they take to the blood more deeply than the rest of us. Fortune smiles upon us. Yesterday, Vilkis was telling me how difficult it had been to, for him to give up his transformations. Until we can pursue a true cure, the twins and I have chosen not to give in to the beast blood. For me, it's provided a clearer head, but Vilkis seems to be suffering a bit for it. Farkas seems completely untroubled. <laughs> that boy continues to amaze me with his fortitude. Well, Vilkis was confiding through the shadows of Yavaska. I saw our newcomer approach, who wished to join our numbers. It was a stranger from my dream, the one who would stand with me against the beast. Vilkis began speaking obliquely, not wishing to air our problems in front of our guest. I had to be very, had to be doubly cautious not to reveal anything of our secrets to the newcomer, while also not revealing the details of my dream to Vilkis. I don't know how the politicians deal with these sorts of machinations daily. In any case, I sent Vilkis to test the newcomer. We'll see if he truly is the great warrior I dreamt of. This newcomer, it seems, is made of decent stock. He calls himself King Grocares, and has already impressed some of the circle with his metal. I still keep my own counsel on his place in my dream. For now, let us see what kind of destiny he is carving before hitching to him. In the meanwhile, I look for ways of cleansing my blood. The writings and legends on the subject are sparse and contradictory. I do not wish to engage any wizardry on this matter, but I fear there may be the only ones who best know how to navigate these worlds of knowledge. It's apparent to me now that Terfig's choice to turn us was indeed a mistake. Magic and their ilk are not in keeping with the spirit of the companions. We face our problems directly, without the needs of such trickery. I can only hope to guide us back to the true path of Isgamor before the rot takes me. King Gokers grow continues to impress. I don't know how yet I don't know yet where he will stand on the question of the blood. But the question has not been presented yet. He does know he does know that we carry the beast blood, and appears curious about it. Soon enough I can explain our troubles and hopefully see what role he will play. I'm amazed that Aella thinks he she can keep a secret among the dr this drunken rabble, especially if they lost his gear. My heart aches. Emotions are freeing and the walls of discretion are the first to fall. Apparently she and King Grocares are waging their own separate war against the Silver Hand. In retaliation for Skior's death. Their hearts are noble, but the cause of vengeance, the course of vengeance is running hot, and I fear the counterstroke that may come if they do not rein in their fury. King Grocares shows valour, though, even in this more underhanded time, we have not had cause to speak much, and that is something I deeply regret. I have high hopes for his destiny, as I realise that his appearance in my dream may indeed mark him as the harbinger to succeed me. I have received few dreams over the course of my life, but when they come, I learn to trust them. I have also learned to trust the insects in my heart, which tell me that King Grocares can carry the Companion's legacy as truly as any residing in Javaska, especially with the loss of Gior. Aella is too solitary, Vilkas too fiery, Farkas too kind-hearted. Only King Grocares stands as the true warrior who can keep a still mind amidst these burning hearts. Really? I will not speak to him of any of this, though it is too much to burden another with burden another with. My hope is that he and I can, can, can keep counsel over the coming years, that I can impart the wisdom of Harbingers, all things in time. Firstly, I will seek his assistance in the matter of the Mitches of Grim Glen Morrow. It would appear that our path to the cure is not without some poetic justice for the tricksters who first cursed us. Okay, so he was grooming me to be the next Harbinger. Dun, dun, dun. No, I'm not doing that quest. I'm not nicking the old man's money. So it appears I need the head of the Lemoral Witch if I want to cure myself. I was the newest kid here. Yeah, I was also thinking about that. The cure of the werewolf. And I think it'd probably be better so I take the cure myself. 
It's not going to matter much because the, the LP will be done afterwards, but... I need another head for the, of the Clem model, but she's to do that. So we'll have to fast travel back to... The Coven. Uh, to get a new... Another head. Oh, bugger.